Yo, what is up? This is Joe Dust and before and today I want to talk about the Ace 52 CQB. Now, this is located in the Carbon Rifle Division, and I think this could be one of the top three best carbon rifles out there in the Battlefield 4 game. I mean, uh, this weapon, I somehow customized it to my own like, and uh, I found it very stable. Now, the gun shoots pretty much straight. The bullets go directly at the enemy. I mean, I have no problems with this weapon at all. Uh, it could be like a... It has like a very pinpoint of an accuracy. I really enjoy this weapon when I'm going down with a medium range battle. I mean, uh, most of the time, like maybe like around 95% of the time, I'll actually beat the enemy from medium range with this weapon. And it has been happen happening like a lot of times lately. And uh, I'm very surprised what this weapon can do. I mean, compared with the other one, with the other, um, you know, ace, uh, this the other ace is only good for long range. But for medium range and short range, somehow it becomes very bipolar. For, but this weapon... Uh, you know, it's pretty much great. The 52 is pretty much great. Uh, I re I recommend it uh, to use it mostly on uh, medium range battles. Uh, big, big range maps, maybe. Depending on how good are you with patience on the on the weapon's uh, accuracy. Because sometimes the weapon goes, can go shoot up and, you know, I don't know. Sometimes it could become very bipolar and you're like, you know, uh, feeling very frustrated, very desperate. That uh, you're gonna be feeling like, uh, you know, you know what? I'm just gonna switch weapons. No, you gotta be very patient with this weapon. I know it has potential. I know that it can actually take out a lot, like tons of enemies. I've done it before. I've taken out crowds of enemies, and um, it very much surprised me. So, um, what I want you to do is uh, use this weapon. You know, train with it. You know, uh, battle with it. This weapon is pretty much good for average battles, medium range battles, uh, short range battles. It's alright though, uh, but the hit fire is quite. Uh, difficult to use on this weapon because you're mostly going to be using this weapon for medium range. Short range, I rarely recommend it. If you're pretty much um, good in reacting on quick situations, like for example, the guy just pops in your face, right? What are you going to do? Aim at him or are you going to shoot from hip fire? If you're pretty good with that, you pretty much can handle short range with this weapon. But um, sometimes this weapon is no good for short range at all. So um, you're going to have to keep your distance most of the time with this weapon, and I recommend it. Because I think that's the only way you can get the most of the most of your kills uh, with this weapon. I mean, there's no other way. I mean, short range, yeah, you might want to, but not as much though. Do not even use it if you're playing if you're playing squad deathmatch on uh, on that tunnel place. What's it called? Operation Locker. If you're, you're playing Operation Locker with this weapon, uh, you know, good luck. Cause there's no way you're gonna beat those one v one situations. Most of the time, you know, you're gonna end up being killed. Yes, you probably can even die when your opponent is on zero health. So, um, you know, what I recommend is not using an Operation Locker kind of maps and using like on big stages, like for example, this one that you're seeing right now on your screen. Uh, this uh, this map is just perfect for this weapon. Most of the enemies are going to be medium range and, uh, you know, most of the enemies are not going to be able to uh, reach you because, you know, they're using other different kind of weapons. But I recommend, you know, using this weapon for medium range most of the time. And you're always going to have the advantage because you're going to be more accurate than your enemy. And also the best class setup for this weapon will be coming up soon. So make sure you subscribe for more. And uh, there's going to be more Battlefield 4 coming up for you guys, you know, more tips and tricks. So, um, so yeah, I mean, just subscribe. You're going to be able to see how I set up this weapon to how it is. I mean, uh, you can also see it every time I die. You know, you can see the attachments and all that stuff. So, uh, you know, pick up those attachments and, uh, you know, use it on this weapon. And you're going to be able to do just fine from medium range. You're going to be very surprised because now your KD, and not only your KD, but your accuracy will increase from there on. This weapon will mostly help you increase your accuracy and uh, for medium range. Short range, you're going to miss a lot of them. So don't even bother with short range. Medium range, is just gonna, you're going to be able to see your accuracy go up. Because I'm telling you, how I have it set up is pretty much pinpoint accuracy. You can get easy headshots with this weapon. And I know it's rare to use this weapon because I know most of the enemies don't even use this. Most of the enemies use the Farmers, the UMP, uh, several other SMGs, and uh, maybe the CQB, the, the other one, what's it called? Um, the other CQB, um, you know, several other carbon rifles, but except for this one, I rarely see this gun being used. So, if I was to make a pie chart, maybe like around 9% of the people who play Battlefield 4 use this weapon. 9% or less. I'll say seven, seven percent actually. So it's a rarely used gun, but but it's very deadly for medium range. I recommend to use it on medium range battles and medium range maps that are all, like almost open wide um, maps. 
So this off for now, guys. Hopefully these these tips help you out on using this weapon. Hopefully you guys use this weapon because I, I I do recommend it, and also I promise that your accuracy will increase after using this weapon because it does have that kind of accuracy. It is a pretty good weapon to use. So leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up, and if you're using this weapon right now, you know use my attachments. It's gonna help you out. So I'll see you guys later and enjoy your day. Once I 